The Sunday rubber match with Troy's Evan Hebert on the mound against UL Lafayette's Hogan Harris, with Hebert having a rough go of things as Troy fell by a final score of 7-2 on Sunday afternoon. You got to win the series at home, and we failed to get that done today. I give them credit. They came out and punched us in the mouth, and I think it knocked us back a couple innings before we got our bearings straight. Their starting pitcher today did a great job and only gave up two hits through his five. And Lafayette came out swinging, scoring four runs in the first two innings. But after things settled in, head coach Mark Smart thought his team bounced back and battled. We hung in there and kept playing. I mean, we gave it, a, gave them a chance there at the end. We loaded the bases in the ninth, but uh, I give them credit. They outplayed us today, and uh, that shouldn't happen at home on Sunday, but it did. We've got to learn from it and get better. Troy is now 0-2 on Sunday games in conference play, and that's just one of the adjustments the team has to make. Well, we've got to understand how to prepare for Sunday. We're 0-2 on Sunday in the league now. We've got to get better on Sunday and win this, win this, uh, find a way to win on Sunday. We'll have to make some adjustments in our readiness factor. I didn't think we were quite ready enough to start the game. And uh, We had a chance to win a series at home uh, by getting a great win yesterday, and uh, unfortunately we didn't capitalize today. On Saturday, Troy's Austin Crook struck out 14 batters, a stellar performance. Well, on Sunday, the script was flipped, and ULL's pitching staff as a whole struck out 14 Trojans, something that head coach Mark Smart says resulted from a combination of things. I thought they pitched well, and I thought we did not stay in the strike zone well enough. We, we, today, we expanded our strike zone, swung and missed too many pitches out of the zone to strike out. Yesterday, we did. Yesterday, we stayed in the strike zone the whole game. Uh, they walked nine and only struck out three. So we didn't do a good enough job offensively today, but they certainly had a lot to do with that. 